Hi, welcome to Fossil Technology, the world leader in UV LED curing solutions. My name is Wei. Today I'm going to show you a quick product demonstration of our FireJet FJ800 area curing solution. This new air cooled solution is optimized for production lines with large area applications such as micro speakers, camera modules, and flat panel displays. The FJ800 light sources are available in two wavelengths, 365 and 395 nanometers. The peak irradiance is 0.6 watt per square centimeter at 365 or 1 watt per square centimeter at 395, both measured at 10 to 20 millimeter from the emitting window. Starting from a base curing area of 100 mm by 100 mm, these modular products can be scaled in all directions, side by side or back to back, to provide a contiguous uniform UV output. These M3 mounting holes on the top can be used to align neighboring units, and there are mounting holes on the front and at the back to install the products. This is the FJ800 controller, which can control up to six light sources. It has a color display with intuitive graphical interface. There are six buttons for individual light source control. The two knobs here are for intensity control and timer control. The USB port is for firmware upgrade and uploading controller setting files. The key is for supervisor mode access. This is the rear panel of the FJ800 controller. This is the main power switch, the AC power input, the DB9 connector here is for external PLC control. The DB15 connectors provides control signals to individual light sources. The DB9 connectors are for external switch control. After the light sources are connected to the controller and the AC power is applied, we are ready to change the intensity and timer settings. The FJ800 controller provides two levels of access, the operator mode and the supervisor mode. Only in the supervisor mode, we are able to make changes to the settings. By turning the key to the unlock position, we enter the supervisor mode. First, choose the light source that we want to make change. Second, Use the knob on the left to change the intensity from 5% to 100%. In this case, we will set it to 50%. And then use the knob on the right to change the timer from 1 second to 600 seconds. When we turn the knob beyond 600 seconds, the timer will be disabled and the light source will be in continuous operation mode. In this case, we want to set the timer to 200 seconds. Okay. After we make all the setting changes, turn the key back to the lock position to enter the operator mode, and use the control buttons to turn on the light. Point, if we want to turn off the light, we we'll just push the button and then the light force will be turned off. If you have any questions about the FireJet FJ800 or any other Fosion products, please contact us by emailing info at Fosion.com or visit our website at Fosion.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.